How do you see the future of women's chess evolving and what changes would you like to see in the chess community to further support female players? I think uh, already there are many, like at least a couple of super uh, tournaments, elite, elite tournaments in women. Like uh, this year, uh, Norway got introduced and like we have been having uh, Karen's Cup from like I think f four, four editions. So it's, it's wonderful uh, to see. And I think uh, more and more tournaments like this caliber should come up so that more uh, girls will be, you know, looking forward and interested to take it professionally and play. And I think, uh, yeah, it is definitely doing better than before, for sure. And I think it can do even better. <laughs> and I'm hoping so. As from my experience and also from what I see, uh, how chess is uh, becoming more and more popular all over the world, I am glad that uh, more and more people are interested in that and especially uh, girls and women. Because I think it's a great game and uh, even if you don't become professional, it will still help you in life in uh, the other areas which you choose. I think female chess is evolving worldwide. Also some strong women events. We have more like in Norway recently. We had very strong women tournament. And uh, of course, I'm looking forward more and more. Chess has been on a steady rise and I think a lot more girls are being interested in the game, uh, especially since the, like, the Queen's Gambit came out. For the chess community, I would say having these tournaments is a good start. Um, I think the St. Louis Chess Club is doing a great job. I also really, for me when I was growing up, one thing that I really appreciated was having camps, like having all female camps um, or all female tournaments. One of my favorite was the Kasparov Chess Foundation's All Girls Nationals tournament. And I think that steers toward creating a more friendly environment and it's uh, always for me something to look forward to. Well, I think having more high level, uh, you know, high profile tournaments like this would be great, right? Because women just need opportunities to compete. When there are big events, there's motivation to train and prepare. And the more we have of them, the more it's going to be viable to make chess your career for women. I think we are actually on a very good path because um, if I compare it to 20 years ago and I was already like very active 20 years ago, we have much more opportunities nowadays. I mean, the Cairns Cup, now Norway Chess, the Chinese also organize very good uh, female events. So we have actually um, a lot of federations and huge sponsors ready to support women's chess. This was not the case many years ago. So that's already like a great thing. If now FIDA would consider to have the same number of events like in the female, like in the male section, that would be great. I mean, thinking about the chess grand tour, for example, the Fisher Rapid World Championship, such tournaments, if you could also get such events, of course, it would be nice because then we would have much more opportunities to play huge and strong events and make a living out of that. So one of the things that I've realized is that women female chess players should not give up um, at such a young age. When I grew up, I received the advice that uh, women players should retire by age 30. However, I realized that's actually not the case. I'm already 33, but I still play very well. I'm at the peak of my career. Now, for generations like me, this may be a little bit too late to change for women players in general, but for the younger generation, I really think that they should adjust to their uh, mental state and one should not limit themselves to a certain age or a certain level of playing. And I'm hoping that I will be one of those who will continue in my career for as long as I can play um, and be inspiration for the younger generations to not limit themselves. Probably more tournaments, more commercial for these tournaments. And in general, I agree that chess should be like faster time control. First of all, I would like to have more tournament for women because uh, speaking about the round robin tournaments we have only a few of them and if this amount in increases then i'm sure that many more girls will be glad to play chess i remember when i started playing chess professionally like more than i don't know right how many 25 years ago there were so 
few chess, uh, women's uh, chess tournaments with such little prizes that you wouldn't believe nowadays. And of course, uh, the way um, women's chess um, like is developing and uh, right now at this uh, current moment, it's just a dream come true. And as for my dream, actually, you know, in the last few months especially, I've been dreaming to see something similar to WTA uh, tour in tennis. Every week, basically, we should have something that um, you can come and you can play, uh, you can try to qualify, because right now we have some tournaments, but it's not like year round, and it would help, I think, a lot to have um, something that I mean, you can, you know, plan ahead and you can come any week and play and participate and try to win great prizes. So that's my, my dream right now.